license to chill. That really makes no sense, but anyway, let's get on with that level. And then we'll do the boss level. God, we've only been recording for just under an hour. Just over 30 minutes. It's only it's taken that long just to get to the end. Christ. No cages here. Um, don't... Ah, oh, fudge. There's a locked door up there with a challenge at the end, you know, like the... I suppose this whole big area is just so you can turn your camera around. For now, just go through this way. Yeah, there's the gold key to unlock that door thing, but this is annoying. I think there's a... Yes, there is a platform. Look, see that platform just down there? To get to it, just do this. Like so. Platforms are kind of hard to miss because you don't know they're there. But we've got balloons in lives. Whee! We're gonna get it about. Thirty nine lives. Whee! There we go. Thirty nine lives so far. Uh, we need to get that gold key thing. I'm gonna annoy, ignore these flapping things. Get the key. And then kind of wait for one of those things. That's why there's a jutty out bit here. So you can get back to the... Annoyingly, you cannot jump to it properly, which is really annoying, which means you will likely lose all your gems. But at least they just respawn again, the gems, in their boxes. So you can just retake them all again. See, if you die and lose a life, then it'll uh, make all the boxes respawn. Go along here, I'll get those boxes later. And there's a GoPro just in there. In here, and it's a small challenge to get a GoPro thing. You know, like with the sheep thingy on one of the other levels. But this time it's been penguins. Just the same as before. Pop the press the button to the one that's getting the This is entirely easy because they go very slow. Come on, this is too easy. But they get faster and faster, as you would probably guess. That was a close one, I nearly fell off the buttons. And there we go, we get a go boat. 
and that's got a set camera angle I cannot change, which makes it really annoying. Anyway, this might actually take a whole hour just looking at the time. And we cannot reach that box, which makes it rather redundant. And can we jump? I'm not going to chance it. But I know the last box contains nothing. We'll just get all those gems back again, I suppose. Yeah, the music stops after a while. And it starts with a different track. In we go. And look at them. There we go, I get them all back again without too much difficulty. They kind of just dropped in like a ball line of some sort. So I'm pleased that that was averted the dropping of all the crystals downwards. Okay, annoyingly big room with big platform spinning round and I just missed that one and you can turn around to each of them okay basically up there is a thingy just press the button and the and it'll time and wait before moving. So it's a press button that you just press and it'll because it'll allow you to get to that crystal and continue. Another gobo, number four. I'm not sure how many gobos there are in the game. You'd have to count the number of standard levels to contain gobos and then multiply that by six because there are six gobos in, in, gobos, the, in every standard level. And you'd have to count the number of standard levels too. Go across here. Oh, close one. A heart. Thirty nine lives again. And don't smash the box yet, because it'll allow you to get to these thingies. Smash the box when you've actually collected all these gems. The gong's there if you were to smash it if you don't have all six, uh, five crystals, sorry. This last one should be a crystal, yep. I call the normal crystals just gems, and the coloured crystals just crystals. It's easier to differentiate between them all. Somebody, that was a close one. And the gold was right in the middle of the hall. Whoa, what's that? Smash the gong, and we can continue. To the boss battle, I suppose. 82 crystals. 